Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Seven steps, we're gonna start a five minute timer. We're gonna put the timer on the screen and we're gonna count down. And then when RC says go, I wanna take you through it. And I'm not gonna try to do this as fast as I can. I'm not gonna go, I'm just gonna say it all real quickly. Because I already talk fast enough as it is. Right. So, but it's seven steps. I'm gonna make sure I have the seven steps written here so I don't make a mistake. Let me, I'm gonna put this piece of paper up here so I can see it. All right, so I will tell you this, just to find it, if you can see my screen, the first thing you wanna do, of course, is just bring up the, it's not the first step, but the timeline window is where the editing goes. Oh, look, hey, they got a clock. It looks like a yeah. video editor clock. It makes you feel like you're in Premiere Pro. <laughs> All right, so it's there, it's in, and it's right there, All the right. timeline. How there about I call is. them out and you do them? All right, you call out the steps and I will And do go, start the timer. Step one, put your video clips all into one folder. That's already been done. We got that. Now, yeah, we got all a folder you're do here. there is yeah. you're going to import those. So step one's already done. Just organize all of your stuff, get it into one spot. Yeah, put a bunch of videos in a folder. Like they're, they're probably already in a folder. Okay, step and two. Wait, hit open. We got to open them first. You're going to, oh, I hit open. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, wait, you're not supposed to open it. Don't worry dumb, about it. We, we got plenty of time, plenty of time, plenty all of time. Right, all right. Step two, import your images as layers and put them on the timeline. The easiest <laughs> way for you to Photoshop. do that nice. is to load the file as a stack. Inside of the Photoshop menu, it's buried, but go under file, go to scripts, and under scripts, you're going to see down there called low file under stack. It sounds like it's a very super thing. Go ahead and do is it. Is it easy? Yeah. Load files into stacks. You're going to select all of the files. At that point, all that's doing is it's saying take a series of files that you have there and just load them as layers on top of one another. Yeah, that's just all goes it into does. the layers palette. That's all it does. It doesn't have to do any. By the way, that's a feature in Photoshop that has nothing to do with video. Yeah, that's right. it. Done. Okay, so now once all of those things are done, go ahead and make your timeline a little bit bigger so you can see some stuff there. All right, yeah, you can see. They're all one on top of one another, as yeah. layers would be in Photoshop. Right, you don't wanna do that. Here's what you wanna do. We're gonna select all of those layers in the layers palette. Mm -hmm. And all you do is one command. Go over here and click and just say, make a new video group from these clips. Yep, that's it. And boom, you have a movie. There That's you go. it. It's all in a line. All the clips are in a row. Now, if you want to rearrange these clips, all right, all you do is click on a clip and say, no, uh, this one was supposed to be first, then the, then the hair. So it's drag and drop. That's how. That's all you have to do to get them in the order you want. Boom. Step three. Moving on. All trim right. your clips. Step three. To trim a clip, all you do is go to the front or the back, and your little icon shows up, and it shows you a preview, and you can go, all right, I want to start right, right. Oh, that's kind of nasty. I'll start right here. And then to, to trim the end away, you just click on the end, and it brings up the end. And it says, where do you want to stop? Well, I want to stop before it gets all blurry. So you can just go through and edit your clips. Watch how quickly you can edit these. Now, while you're doing that real quick, it I'd like to be able to preview. point out that our video team stopped manning the cameras and are looking at the Photoshop thing. And they're like, going, they're looking and going, get out. Yeah, so this I'm, is cool. I'm editing and we're the clips. Now we're about the halfway point right now, Scott. Okay. So let's move over quickly to step number four, which is add transitions and fade in and out. Okay. How so, hard is it to add a transition? Oh, transition? There, luckily, there's only five. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and look, so fade, and, and you want to fade with black. So we'll start the movie by fading with black. All you do is click on the one you want. Watch. Drag and drop it. Now, right. now it fades. Watch. I'll show you a preview. Now your movie fades in from black. But when you get to the second clip here in a second, it's probably going to look bad. I probably didn't pick a good ending point since it's out of focus. Oh, nice, nicely. Sorry, bad ending clip. But watch, boom, it just goes to the next clip. To add a dissolve, just go crossfade, watch. Oh, drag 59. and drop. Watch, I can do all the clips, <clears throat> drag and drop. Drag and drop. Oh, no. And at the make... end, fade with black. Oh, no. Are we going to make this? Right. I think we're going to make okay, it. Okay, we're going to make it. Step five, add background music. What oh, add background mu music. Oh, wait. Just click on the audio, the audio icon. Oh, snap. Look at that. Find a, a song. I'm going to put use the same song I used. Okay. Open. Now when you play your video, just hit play. Let me rewind all the way to the beginning. Hit play. And now oh, you I got to turn up my, my volume. Here we go. So now. Okay. There, so there it is. Now, wait, wait, wait. Let's move over. We got to go quickly. Let's go to step six. Add text and titles. Scott, yeah, what if I want just, a piece of text? Yeah, just get the type tool and put in, you know, whatever you want. Behind the scenes. Shoot. Now oh, it's, no. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, wait. it just added it as a clip. In the middle of it. Oh, Right. How do you get it to be over the video? Just grab it, drag it on top in of the In the layers video. palette, drag it to the top like you would anything else. And now, look, the word behind. And look, how do you resize it? Or just the free, same free way you resize anything else in Photoshop. Yeah. 
You oh. use all the type tools just like you always would. Move it to the beginning? Yeah, let me just move it over here. You can put it anywhere you want. Scott, but it's going to be abrupt, right? Scott, we got a problem. What's I wrong? would like for that thing to be black and white. Can we do that? You want the clip to be black and yes, white? Yes, please. Well, sure. That one right there. Click on it and just go... Um, Black and white, just oh, like you would with a snap. still. What about oh. the next clip? The wait, next... wait, it does the whole clip, RC. It doesn't just do that frame. Oh, so, nice. But that's, you're jumping ahead to step seven. That is step seven. Treat the clips. Right, so here's what makes this so many. Can we pause the timer? Can you pause the timer? We only have 21 seconds, and I'm not doing anything else in the program. Uh, I don't think they can pause the timer. Crap, they can't pause the timer. All right, well, it doesn't matter. Step seven is, once you've got the things in order, right, now it's just Photoshop. This is what makes, this is what's amazing. You already know how to do every single thing that you want to do. Let's say that I wanted this to be sharper. I'm just going to apply the unsharp mask filter. What if I want to make it black and white? I'll choose black and white. What if it's too dark or too light? I'll use levels. I'll use curves. I'll add an unsharp mask. I already said that. I'll add a Gaussian blur. All the things that you already know how to do in Photoshop, just like you saw me resize the type. I can resize the video clip. I can rotate the video clip. I can add stills. If you think that once you've put them all in the timeline, that I can treat all of these now, I can treat video clips like they're stills, you just realize, oh my God, I know how to, I know how to edit video. Huh? Think about this. If you open Premiere Pro right now and I told you, rotate it a little bit and resize the video, it would take you an hour to figure out how to do that. If you Premiere were in a video editor. You already know how to do it in Photoshop. If I want to take the video clip that we're on right here, I'm going to zoom out a little and just, I want to uh, rotate it and resize it. It's what you do in Photoshop with a still, mm -hmm. but it applies it to the entire video. If I want to go and add a filter, if I want to go and add an unsharp mask, watch, I'm about to sharpen a video clip using the same stuff that we always do day in and day out. This this is what's so amazing. Mm -hmm. You do not have to learn a new program to edit video. You can start the timer again. You do not have to, because <laughs> I'm not teaching it anymore. We actually ended 14 seconds early. Yeah. Because I'm just, now I'm just talking oh, to you Oh, you might want to export. Oh, yeah. Then when you're, when you're done, just go choose export right here. Render video. Which option do you want to use? Oh, they already have that all set up for you. They, Click on the yeah, preset. You drop can do down. a quick time. You can do H264. I've been doing H264, oh, no, so but it look, compresses it. The preset. Oh, it has... Oh, these, down, oh here. down here. You don't even have to think about it. Yeah, you want to go to HD, you want to go to your Android phone. Vimeos, YouTube. YouTube, they have presets already ready to go. You hit render, and it's done. There is nobody watching this show that just goes, oh, I couldn't do that. Yeah, there's no way. So that's the thing, is now, now what you can do is take all those clips, use the little trick we showed you, step one, is load them in using that stacking thing. Just drag and drop them into the order that you want, right? Trim your clips. Do a better job of trimming than I did with that first clip where it went That's all blurry fine. and stuff, That's fine. right? But, but this is the thing. So in my book, the Photoshop CC book for digital photographers, I did the biggest chapter in the book is on this because I thought it was the, the most amazing new thing. And you know what's interesting about this? Nobody knows about it. Yep. Adobe doesn't talk about it. Nobody talks I don't about know why. it. And, and I don't know why, because this is <laughs> this is what photographers have been dreaming for.